Hey, how you doing? Today you saw the topic. We want to talk about um, is it roasting and gagging or is it actually rebuke? And today I have with me, joining me, Nathaniel, my co-host. Y'all hadn't seen him in a while co-hosting with me. Say hi to the people. Hey, how's everyone doing? Good to be here. Good to be here. All Thank right. Yes. Again, we're talking about is it roasting or gagging? Roasting, gagging, or is it rebuke? I think it's a mixture sometimes. Uh, you know, out here on the YouTube streets, everybody's talking about roasting and gagging. That's how people make their money. That's how people get a lot of clicks and views. And let's get into it real quickly. And feel free, uh, Nathaniel, to chime in anytime, okay. right? Because I want you to help me talk about this here. Uh, roasting is uh, to roasting and gag is to humiliate in a comedic manner, right? So it's basically like light roasting, I guess, talking about a person, but it's in light fun and the other person may understand what it is and they might dig back at you. I know when we were young, we used to do that roasting and gag with each other. But at the end of the day, Boy, we were all still the friends because we did it in fun. Yeah. But nowadays, the roasting and gagging can go a little That's further. It can it. turn into something very serious or it can come extremely vile. And we've seen that out here on these YouTube streets and also in life. And, and that's typically why I don't play and joke around with people nowadays. I used to do it a lot, but I don't know what's in the water. I don't know what's going on, but typically when you joke a lot with a person, something is said or something uh, is triggered, mm -hmm. all of a sudden they get serious, they get mad, they get upset. So in order to avoid all that, I don't joke with people at all. Now I am funny at times. I might joke, you know, do some light joking, but I'm not going to like heavily uh, target a person and just like roast and gag and joke because that can turn into something else. Right. So, and that's what we see out here on these YouTube streets. We want to address that today. Um, and we also want to compare with rebuking because sometimes in the roasting and gag, and I think there's rebuke. We've seen a lot of that, that We've seen a lot of that out there on the YouTube streets, too. But uh, rebuke is too sharp. It's a sharp disapproval or criticism because of someone's behavior. Yes. Yeah, so there's a fine line in between the two. Sometimes I think when they're going back and forth and on a serious note, they tell them what they should do. Like uh, you need to get off camera and take care of your children. That's kind of like a rebuke. And you know what makes it more rebuke? Because it's a form of correction. Yeah. It, it, yes. And you know why? It, it's such, it, it's valid to me because it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Some say you need to get off and take care of your children. Your, your child need your attention. Or you might hear somebody say, uh, that's hypocrisy. You say one thing and you do another. You say you would never do this and never do that. And you criticize somebody else for doing it. But now you're doing it. You see what I'm saying? We have people out here who will point that stuff out. That's kind of like a form of rebuke to me. I mean, it's actually pointing out your behavior and uh, in hopes that you would correct it. But, you know, a lot of times we get the big headed out here. We get the big head. We don't want to listen to no one. Mm -hmm. it, and even if it's the truth, right, because the truth hurts. Yes. And that pride. Yes, we know it's the truth. We know that other person is telling us the truth. You need to get your house clean before you get online because, you know, people are going to talk about you. You need to fix yourself up before you come online. You know that stuff is the truth. And I can't help but say amen because it is true. You know, it ain't throwing shade. That's just, it's just the truth. Yes, it's just the truth. So we want to talk about that. Um, I think if you have a relationship or if you're friends with someone, you should be able to rebuke them. And I don't think that the rebuke should be driven by anger. A lot of times we hold back. We won't say nothing. We hear all that. Well, mm -hmm. I didn't say nothing, but now he pissed me off. He made me mad. So I'm going to say something. Now, I don't think we yeah. should let us uh, that rebuke get to the point where anger is driving it. Because at that time, you know, it might become a little nasty then. Because y'all know how we are when we angry and when we have emotions with stuff we can we can go way left i think a uh, rebuke should be driven by love if you love a person or if you care about a person if that's your friend or whatever if right. they're in the wrong you should tell them right then i call it nipping it in the bud hey i have people around me to tell me hey 
Pastor Nate, I don't think that's right, or you shouldn't do that, or you need to do right. this and that and the third, because I know they are interested in my well-being. Now, I don't know if these people on the YouTube streets are interested in each other's well-being, because they don't know each other like that, but some of the stuff they say, it is the truth. Some of that stuff, they need to take heed, and we'll go through uh, some of that stuff. Um, you got something to say? Yeah, and and that's the problem. There's no relationship, you know. Uh, so when they go back and forth, they don't mm -hmm. take it as correction. They take it as still being vile because the enemy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You, you coming at them, you throwing shots so that other person is not going to take it as a review. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I look, you know, in this sector, YouTubers, they go back and forth all the time. But some of that stuff they say is like, wow, yeah, that's the truth. And I want to say amen so bad because the truth, but I, you know, I don't want to say that. Because, say that. Like I say, when I go in you these chats and they go back and forth, <laughs> I don't want it to appear like I'm taking You've been sides, accused of right? that already. So it's hard to be kind of neutral <laughs> when you say amen to the truth because they'll think you're, you're an amen corner for the content creator. So I was like, oh God, he, they really tell him the truth, but I'm not going to say anything. But yes, and it's, it's biblical too. Luke 9 and 41 Jesus loved his disciples, right? Jesus mm -hmm. handpicked them and he even rebuked them. You know, there was a and a he loved them. He loved them with a, a devil and the disciples couldn't cast it out. They didn't have the faith enough. And Jesus rebuked them. Jesus right. told the disciples, say, oh, unbelieving and perverse generation, because they couldn't cast out the demon. In other words, you've been with me. You've seen how I do the work. You should have faith by now. What's going on? So Jesus rebuked them. He loved him, but he rebuked him. Also, yeah. he rebuked Peter, right? He told Peter, he addressed him as Satan. That was harsh. Yeah. <laughs> so just because yeah. I sharply rebuke you don't mean that I'm trying to be rude or it doesn't mean that I hate you. I love you. I just want you to change your behavior. So Jesus told Peter, he said, get behind me, Satan. Now, this is, was one of the closest disciples to Jesus. Right. What do you think about that, Nathaniel? Yeah. And that's true. It goes back to what I said earlier. These people don't know each other on the YouTube street. So they going back mm -hmm. and forth. If they try to review, they're going to take it as vile. They're going to take it as, you know, the, being, you know, right. Very nasty. And then, you know, these people yeah. need to listen. Seriously. When these people are telling you the truth out here, I mean, even in your norm, in everyday life, if somebody telling you the truth, I know the truth hurt. Take heed of the truth. I mean, this is some of the stuff that I hear people saying, you know, when they're talking to each other, going back and forth. Some of them saying, OK, you keep driving around and telling people pull up. Somebody going to pull up and hurt you. Somebody going to pull up and kill you. You yeah. need to stop that. That's, that's telling the truth. That's because, the and, truth. And that's, you know, that's real. People are crazy out there. They will pull up because yeah. people are crazy. So you got to be careful. Also here, you're supposed to be a man, a woman of God. You're supposed to be a prophet or a prophetess or whatever God has called you. But you're acting like be this. Be careful and speaking, now. Y'all, I'm neutral. I'm just talking. Right. What do you think about that? Yeah. I mean, again, those things are the truth. Because but I say I'm a man of God. Yeah. They're but not trust me. If I say I'm a man right. of God, I'm going to try my best to display those fruits. Right. right? You ain't going to hear Pastor Nate getting over here cussing and this ain't no shade to nobody else. I'm just talking about me. Somebody going to call you me, out because everybody got their own relationship with the Lord. I thought if you say that you're a man or woman of God, you are supposed to, you know, I know we're not we're not perfect, supposed but aren't we supposed to kind of kind of be in alignment with that? Make an effort. Yeah. Yes. Um. You're throwing rocks in high in your hand. We hear mm -hmm. all this stuff. You hypocrite. I know that's a harsh term, but it is what some it of is. us might be actually hypocrite. We might be practicing hypocrisy. So that might be the truth. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I just want to bring this. Y'all let me know what you think. You know, roasting and gagging versus, you know, rebuking somebody actually correcting you and telling you the truth. So you can change because we do have some real issues going on that people do need to change. Right. I'm not the judge, but I just, you know, just what I observe in the meantime. Thank you for coming, Nathaniel. Thank you all for joining thank me. You for having me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. subscribe in the meantime, please. be at peace and not in pieces. Subscribe. Subscribe. You better hit that subscribe. <laughs> Crazy. Button.